Good morning, guys. Time to check in on the pipeline. Check it out. Bunch of images. The image generation stuff is going great, but there's one problem. It's taking extremely long. I ended up creating about a thousand prompts and I'm generating four images each. So that's about 4,000 pictures. And my computer is complaining. So I'm gonna let this pipeline run, but this challenge of making $100,000 with AI tools still needs to continue. So for this video, I think I'm gonna try to release like a simple iOS app. So one of the things I hate the most about like the app ecosystem lately is subscriptions. I hate that like even a small workout app and they're trying to sell you this like monthly subscription. And I really hate that. I'd rather pay like two bucks or five bucks for some, you know, kind of nicely built thing that solves a very specific problem and just be done with it. So that's what I'm gonna try to solve. Simple idea I had is I saw an ad for this and basically they have like the Tinder swiping behavior. It's a way to clean up like bad images and videos. I don't know, I thought that might be an interesting thing. I could like build it and sell it for five bucks as a way to like clean up your storage. First thing I like to do when I create these is make a PRD. Write me in that PRD for an iOS app. This app has a Tinder card swipe and the main tab and ultimately helps users clean up their photos. All right, look at that, pretty good. Only took like 10 minutes, but I have a basic functional thing that like draw drags and stuff. And what I'm gonna do now is have it actually load images. I'm making really good progress, but there's an issue. Every time I swipe, it, oh, yeah, there it is. Every time I swipe, it asks me for this dialogue. Yep, you just can't bypass this. It's just like an iOS, like, you know, hand-holding stuff. So, one thing they do have is they have a batch process API. Essentially, I'm gonna create a trash can. This is gonna be a queue, okay? So whenever the user hits the, the trash can, I'm gonna add it into this queue. And when the user hits this button, then I'm gonna open up a new modal view. It's gonna be a grid of images, essentially. And then they could have a button that says like delete all. I need to get going to a birthday party with the kids, but I was able to get the app downloaded on my phone and it works. You, you could swipe, you could essentially, you know, delete him and the, the things that you want to delete, essentially if you hit this button right here, goes to this like, uh, like delete all flow or whatever and then you could just like delete it or like recover all of them. Yeah, I mean, it works. I, there's a bunch of little things that I would fix, but like functionality wise, in my opinion, it's mostly done. Back at it again. And I made a decent amount of progress, I think. I'm basically done with the core features that I wanted to make for this photo cleaner app. So I'm gonna show you guys what it is. So essentially you could drag and, you know, delete items or delete photos. To me, this is already like very, very cool in my opinion. And my wife was like, oh, I need something like this already. So I feel like there's some market fit. And when I, when I did some market analysis, I downloaded a few apps. The apps are okay in terms of functionality, but all of them like either show you ads or it's like some kind of subscription for a simple photo cleaning app. Now, the cool thing here is, uh, this is kind of my own take on this, but I have this concept of kept photos or like photos that you decided to keep. I'm gonna add a confirm here, and if you confirm, then these photos will no longer ever show up in your queue. Um, and But from here, you can also like select them and then be like, okay, I'm gonna actually add them to the delete queue. And then that gets added to the delete queue, and then you could delete all of these, or you could recover all of these, which re adds them to the queue, right? And then, and then you could just start deleting things again. So that's it for this particular thing. Tomorrow, I, like right now, if you look at it, it's basically just, um, I, I call it tea cleaner. I don't know why, 
like Tinder cleaner. That's why I called it and I don't even have a logo. So comment below what you guys think I should call this app. Um, and then tomorrow I'll do all of the generation for like the logo and everything and try to like submit it by end of tomorrow. But yeah, so that's it for this project. Now for the other project, at this point I think I need to like restart my computer because it's, it's basically screaming. I've had this thing generating images since yesterday night, all night, and it's still not like halfway done. And now the computer is like freezing up and stuff. I think there's probably some like memory issues, but I'll share some of the pictures right now on the screen of what some of the images look like. It's a ton of images. I'm getting a ton of them. So, so tomorrow, if I have some time, I'm essentially going to do two things. One, I'm going to package up this iPhone app, iOS app, and then try to launch it into the app store. So I have a, like a valid product to sell. The major thing with this other like digital product, like image prompt guide that I'm making, the issue is now that I have like 10,000 images or something like that, I need a way to organize them and then like have an easy way for the, the consumer, the users to be able to look through them by like categories or things like that. So, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna build another pipeline to create a bunch of little folders and then send them to different folders based on categories. So I'm trying to go on finishing all of those during this weekend before I go back to work. But yeah, a lot of things going on. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Remember to please comment below on like your ideas that I can potentially execute or even like ways I can improve the current projects that I'm doing. And the first milestone I'm trying to hit is like, you know, $100 and I'll give that away and then I'll do like thousands of dollars afterwards. But you know, the goal is to do $100,000. So yeah, so I hope you guys come along in this journey and until I see you guys on the next video, bye.